Okay, so here we are, paying the ticket to go to Anguilla. So let's see here. This for Anguilla. I've already got the uh, pink pass. They give you this. You can also go to St. Bart here. This is in Marigot. They have a high-speed ferry that goes from the airport. But this is Marigot. It's a lot cheaper, about half the price. You pay on the actual boat. Let's see how this all goes. So there's the boarding pass. When you go to Anguilla, you're definitely going to a foreign country. It's not the same country. So they just stamped my passport. Uh, never. Five dollar tax slip. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. It's going to take 20 minutes. big old stamp when you exit.
Okay. Meet me outside. My name is Desmond. I do rent cars. Okay, I'll look for you. Okay. Thank uh, you. My brother will be out also with a sign that said DD. Okay. British Caribbean. All right, so I'll pick up once I go through the immigration. Okay, so I just went through immigration. They asked some really intense questioning. Yellow yeah, boot up there? Yes. Go right there and his wife is gonna take care of oh, Okay, thank you so much. Day. All right. So you go through the immigration. I thought it was gonna be a breeze, but they really are asking a lot of intense questions at both Actually, customs was probably more of a strict questioning than the immigration. What do you do for your job? Where do you work? Where do you live? Was all the questions customs was asking. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Thought I just went through immigration here. And then, like, want to know what kind of marketing I do? I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to treat tourists that way. Like, they're committing some sort of infraction by coming to your country. Especially when you're just coming from St. Martin as a tourist. Like, if it's not obvious that I'm a tourist, then <laughs> what else would it be? But, um, one thing I will say is they have to answer everything manually, so even checking into the country moves really slow. I was surprised. For a rental car, I actually use this company right here, D&D Rentals. You can actually contact them right there by using that information. Okay, so I rented the car. It's actually uh, about $65 a day. That includes insurance. And the driver's license you have to pay for is $15, but it's $40 for actually the car. So let's uh, cruise the island. Well, I'm starting out here at Rendezvous Bay. And uh, they have a restaurant here called Sea Level. I tried to park over there, but all the employees are parked over there, so you have to park if you're a guest. But the furthest one away, which is very rare, because usually they have easy accessibility for guests, but instead the employees are taking the parking for the easy accessible, believe it or not. That's a surprise. But let's, uh, let's see what this restaurant has to offer. Beautiful hotel, as you can see. Beautiful place, huh? Let's see, where is sea level? All right. Well, she's an extremely nice person there. Very nice lady. And I've got a pulled pork sandwich. Okay, so that was a delicious pulled pork sandwich there. So my hotel's over here. I'm gonna be staying on Rendezvous Bay uh, tonight, so hopefully we'll get the sunset. I just wanted to show you around here real quick. Beautiful hotel here. I think it's called Aurora. But yeah, we'll uh, go see some more of the island now. 